guys. So today, we're talking about a very traumatic experience that happened to us. This is real life. We're not joking. Not clickbait. Yeah. So as you can see by the title, Club Penguin has scammed us. Yes. So it all starts off when Club Penguin shuts down. Why would you do that to us? That's so, that's such a tragedy. So many of us, young and old, big and small, loved Club Penguin. And then they just ripped it away from us and said they were replacing it with the app. And the app is trash too. According to my friend Adam, it doesn't even have puffles on it. <laughs> right? What kind of Club Penguin doesn't have puffles? Like even when you weren't a member, you can get puffles. That's not a Club Penguin I want to live in. So recently, we discovered that there's a new Club Penguin, and it's called Club Penguin Rewritten. And it's not sponsored by Disney. Disney has nothing to do with it. And it's probably illegal, but whoever yeah, did it... It's illegal. It's exactly like Club Penguin. And it, it's ex exact. Like, it's, it's literally Club it's Penguin. It's exact to the original one. Like And everyone is a member. Like, if you remember yeah. from the old original Club Penguin, you had to pay for memberships, but this in this one, everyone's a member. And I think that has to do with the fact that they're doing this illegally. And they're not allowed <laughs> to charge you Yeah, money. so um, so you can get every type of puffle, you can do any type of game, but there are some flaws. It's very glitchy, like yeah. the card game, the card jitsu game, it doesn't work. It, like, they're they straight so up, fixing it. Yeah, they straight up just took it out, like you can go to the dojo still, but if you, yeah, you can't play the game, I don't even think you can talk to the sensei. We went on together, like, a couple weeks ago. As we do. <laughs> and we were like, we were like, oh, let's go to the dojo, like, we haven't been there in a while. We can go there, and they have, like, the mats there, and you can go, and it's like, practice, whatever. So we go there, and we, like, click on it, and it won't let us play. And we're just like, excuse me? Yeah. <laughs> like... Okay, we're talking the about very beginning, we, like, when we went on, when, this is when we first discovered yeah. Club Penguin rewritten, and it's still there, like, you can play it, so, go ahead. Okay, so it was after we, like, friended each other, so yeah. we became friends, and then we went on, and we just could not see each other. <laughs> like, we were texting each other, and, like, we were like, can you see me now? <laughs> we could not we were on the same server, we were in the same place, like, we were both just, like, in the plaza or something, like, where the, the pizza, pizza place parlor. is, yeah, we were just, like, we were, like, I'm here, are you here? Yes, I'm here, why can't I see you? So frustrating, <laughs> and it finally got fixed one day, like, I, I don't know what happened, yeah, I don't one really day care. we went on there and we could see each other, so, so like, it was fine. I'm making an introduction to make a very important point, okay? If you smell bad, people will talk about you. I have conversations with people all the time about who smells bad. Don't smell bad. So, one time, they wouldn't let us log on for some reason. I think it's because they were dealing with Disney, like they were going to get sued or something. Yeah, like, the thing about, another thing about Club Penguin rewritten, is that it keeps having to like switch URLs because they're trying so hard <laughs> to not get sued by Disney. <laughs> like it wouldn't let us log on. So wait, can I have my phone? I want to see if I can get the email. Anyway, I cannot find the email that I sent. But basically, it said, "Why can't I log on?" And they were like, "There's." They didn't respond for like weeks. Yeah, I forget what they said, but we have. Oh, by that time, we could get on. So yeah, it didn't matter. I think it was because they had to switch URLs again. Yeah. <laughs> so that was annoying. So, if you played Club Penguin before, you should know about the ski game where you can. Um, or isn't it like like sledding? Tubing? Yeah, whatever the sledding thing. And so, usually you get ten coins from that. You'll get like ten coins if you get second place, and like twenty coins if you get right. first place. So it's like very low, but like it's still something, okay? So we played, <laughs> or I played a game, whatever. And when it said like you get that like blue screen that says like. You earned blank coins, you now have whatever. It said you earned negative 500 coins. <laughs> and, you have, and it actually 
subtract two coins from me? Like, I don't have those coins anymore. Like, it doesn't matter, but like... What? <laughs> like, how do you just take away 500 coins from me like that? I don't know what I did, like... It was just really weird. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> I don't know what happened. I never got those coins back. I'm pretty sure that's it. Okay, well, now we have another story that we just played Club Penguin. <gasps> oh my god, <laughs> 10 minutes ago. And um, we were like, I went on my account. I was like, oh, let's try to make a friend. And so we go on and we go to the beach. Okay, so we find like these people. There's like two penguins there. I'm like, hello. And I was like, do you guys want to be friends? And they said no. And I said, bish. I said B I S H, and it kicked me off the side. Like it was like just like that, yeah. right when she said that, and it was like you've been kicked off of the server for violating their rules. Like it was like it was what so did quick. I do? It was so quick. I mean, I logged back in like right after I yeah. I was in the exact same spot where I was, which I thought was really funny, and I ended up becoming friends with the people. And we were like, okay, great. And then we went to... Was it the pizza parlor where everything no, happened? No, it was the ice cream place. Oh, yeah. The, but what is that called? The it, dock? The, it's called like... The dock. Near the dock, yeah. Okay, so it was at the dock. And I'm with these two people. And this other penguin comes up and they're talking about mascots. <laughs> and we're just like, what? <laughs> we're so confused. <laughs> we're like, what are you talking about? I was like, oh, they're probably talking about sports. Because sports have mascots and whatever. I don't really know. I'm not into sports. And they're like, no, like mascots in Club Penguin. I'm like, what are you talking about? They're like, the penguins. I'm like, aren't they just called penguins? <laughs> and they're like, no, like the famous ones. I was like, how are there famous penguins in Club Penguin? And they're like, oh, you know, like Sensei and the... Rock Hopper. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, so weird. Oh, okay. So apparently there was like this app where you could like find. <laughs> I freaking know. I was so confused. And then they were like the app on the computer called Find the Mascots, and we were like, what is happening? <laughs> Mascot sighting. Yes. We were like, what the heck? So then the one of the people that I had friended was like, let's go to whatever my username is. Must go so to their igloo. igloo. I was like, first off, I didn't invite you. Like, you're just coming to my house. Like, you're invading my space. Like, I have at least ten puffles in there. Like, they could get scared. Like, I don't know. <laughs> they proceeded to go to her igloo, come back, and say, you have a really nice igloo. I was like, thanks. I was like, okay. So I was like, okay, I'm kind of done with these people. These people are being really creepy. And so I left. I went to the pizza parlor. I was like, let's just try to make a new friend. So I go sit down with this random guy and literally no, no. All, all hell is breaking loose in the pizza parlor. Like people are talking about stress relief lotions and sleep paralysis and now we can go and like foot fetish things. It was crazy. Wait, okay, so this guy Hid, this like it was totally super guy hid under the table where me and this other dude were sitting at and was like can I have your feet <laughs> and like it's a penguin so they're not feet <laughs> he's like can I have your toes I was like do you have foot fetish <laughs> and then all the like the foot fetish guy and the weird people who were talking about her igloo were like following her okay, all so, around so the lo and behold the guy who went to my igloo shows up right next to me i don't even know how he like you went to like the, the nightclub like you went to the coffee shop she went everywhere and he followed he followed okay so then the guy who i was sitting with was like let's go to the stage i was like that's fine so we go there and the guy with the foot fetish phone <laughs> It was crazy. He's like, can I ask you a question? I was like, sure. And we were both like, sure. And he's like, can I have your feet? <laughs> they were like, I was like, are you a butt fetish guy? And then he left. So then we went to the coffee shop <laughs> because I wanted to see the menorah because <laughs> I'm Jewish. And the guy from my igloo. <laughs> 
fault of me. And he's like, you made the other guy upset. And this is the other guy that we I had befriended at first. And I was like, what are you talking about? It was it was crazy. wild. Crazy. I was like, what is going on? Okay. okay, so we're about to run out of storage on the SD card. So that's all for this video. Bye. Um, comment if you want a part two because we will have so many more scam stories for you guys. Like and subscribe. Yeah, okay. Bye. <laughs>